Japan Coast Guard protects fishing boat from Chinese Navy. According to the Coast Guard, a pair of Chinese naval warships approached a Japanese fishing boat near disputed islets in the East China Sea on Monday, prompting another call to the Japan Coast Guard. According to a spokeswoman for the 11th Regional Coast Guard headquarters, the incident occurred shortly after Chinese ships were detected near Taisho Island in the Senkaku chain. Members of the Okinawa Fishing Association requested assistance, according to Kitsuna Bukedo, Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga's recently appointed Chief Cabinet Secretary. Chinese naval vessels have approached fishing boats in waters around the Senkaku Islands, which Japan claims as its territory, twice in the last six months, according to the Coast Guard. We've been advising ships to abandon the region since Monday, according to a Coast Guard spokesperson. The islands, which cover about 212 square miles, are administered by Japan, although they are also claimed by China and Taiwan, who refer to them as Jiaoyu Dao and Daiyutai, respectively. A Coast Guard spokesman declined to specify how many ships responded to the cry for help, but there were no injuries or damage reported. According to the spokeswoman, the fishing boat crew continued to work during the event. According to Kato, the episode elicited an urgent condemnation from the Japanese government via official diplomatic channels. At the news conference, he added, we told them to halt and leave the area immediately. Japan will maintain its composure while taking a hard stance. Kato promised to defend the lives, assets, and land of our people. At his weekly press briefing in Beijing the same day, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Li Jin Zhao referred to the islands as China's inherent territory. According to a transcript on the ministry's website, patrolling and conducting out law enforcement activities in the relevant waterways is also China's inherent right. This should be respected by the Japanese side. The Chinese vessels were still in Japanese territorial waters as of Tuesday morning, according to a Coast Guard spokesman. In Japan, it is normal for government officials to speak to the media under the condition of anonymity. According to the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea,